Okay, so I'm reinstalling GTA 4 again, um, as you can see here. Um, we're going to downgrade GTA 4 to uh, the 1.0.4.0 version of the game. Um, so before this finish installing, I'm going to go over why you'd want to do that real quick. And uh, the reasons you'd want to do that are pretty simple. Um, one, it is the most compatible with the most amount of mods. Um, so pretty much all the older mods and pretty much all the mods for GTA 4 should work with it. Unless they're broken natively, like they just aren't very good mods and they don't really work at all anyway. Um, so there's that. Um, you will no longer need uh, Rockstar Launcher nor Steam. Um, you won't even be able to launch the game through Steam after doing this, so don't try, don't, you know, uh, hitting the play button over here will do nothing. Um, it, it might even fuck up your downgrade, because it might try and replace files that, that are broken. Um, it didn't do it in my experience when I tried it, just to, to prove the point, um, before, but... Uh, it, it just don't do it just you'll see um, so it's done installing now we've got the directory here so I made this very noob friendly this is a lot easier than the last video I should have did this in the first place but I wasn't sure if it would work so I had to tinker around with it a little bit and see if I can make it much easier to to do so, the beginning steps are going to be exactly the same as in my last video, if you've seen it. If not, you know, you don't need to worry about it. Don't worry about watching it. It's not important now. So, we we'll delete manuals. We'll delete this folder. Uh, you know, whatever the hell that's supposed to say. Registrables or whatever the fuck. You know, vegetables. Some bullshit. You know, we don't care what it says. We don't need it. So, that's the important part. And all of these right here. So, the install scripts, the metadata, the MTLX, the Play GTA 4, and the Steam API DLL. You don't need that. So, those, you know, goodbye. Get out of there. We don't need you. And I'm going to host a folder called GTA Shit After Eating Taco Bell. So, um, this is going to have everything you need, and it's going to be a one and done thing. So, um, this has got Visual C in it, um, in case you have any problems with the game not running. You would install these, and then that'll fix that problem. So everything's done for you, so you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, copying and pasting a bunch of shit. You just take this, you copy it, you paste it into here, and when it asks you to replace files, just say yes yes and then there you go that's it so um uh one quick thing before i get into testing and showing that everything works so um i want to mention this early so then you know uh in your documents folder you have rockstar games and if you go inside of uh the game saves folder this is your game save so if for whatever reason you need to reinstall Windows or um, you accidentally deleted this folder or whatever, um, you could copy this and paste it somewhere else, like put it on a flash drive or whatever. So, you know, if you have to reinstall Windows and reinstall all this shit over again, you have your game saved. You could just drag and drop this back in and it'll... it. It'll work as long as you're back on the downgraded version. This folder won't exist if you have the newest version. It's tethered to Rockstar Launcher because your game saves are in a cloud now. So, um, this will only really work for this. And I think 1.0.7.0 um, should be the same. But that's not important because we're not doing that. Um, also, if you... At install mods and you have a car parked in your parking lot um, I don't know if it if it only pertains to changing the car you had in your parking lot it might do it with all cars but um, if you get crashing after modding the car that's in your parking lot I know it, it does it with that uh, 
what you'll want to do to fix that without having to uninstall the mods and do all that nonsense, you could just go into um, your C drive, go to your users, go to your user, and um, if you don't have app data here, uh, what you'd want to do is go to view and um, uh, hidden items, tick this box. So then you could see hidden folders because this folder is natively hidden on your computer. So then you would go into local inside of app data and then go down to uh, Rockstar Games. Where is it at? Um, here we go. Rockstar Games, GTA 4, and then settings. And in here, uh, if you have that issue with crashing because you modified a car that was in your parking lot, once you go out of view, in my experience of the car, like it stops rendering the car, it'll crash the game. And so you might have trouble saving without the car in your parking lot. So like say you moved it out of your parking lot, you went in your little safe house to try and save, you might be out of range of the car and it might crash. So you might not be able to fix that by saving without the car there. So what you would do is you delete this, just delete it, get rid of it, you don't need it, and it'll regenerate a new one. The only downside is I'm, I'm not 100% sure because I, I only had to do this once. I can't remember if it did that, but you might have to reset like your graphics settings. So like, you know, your resolution might go back to like 800 by 600 and you might have to change all your like uh, detail settings and all that stuff but other than that you won't have to change anything else you'll just have to reset your graphic settings to what you wanted and um, that'll be it but just delete this file it'll regenerate a new one so um, that that's pretty much it for that but I wanted to get that out of the way early so that then if you encounter any of these problems you know how to fix it um, and so you could back up your saves if you wanted um, so now we'll go ahead and launch the game actually you know before we launch it there's another thing you're gonna want to do because you can no longer launch it through Steam as I mentioned before you'll want to go and right click on this and then send desktop shortcut so then you could just launch the game from there and then we can remove all this nonsense. You don't need that. So now you don't have to go into the directory every time where you installed the game and click on this. You'll be able to just do it from the desktop and you'll see that right now. So um, now you'll have the downgraded version of the game. You'll be able to have the most compatibility with mods. No longer need Rockstar Launcher and you won't have to worry about any issues like uh we'll play for a couple minutes so you'll see you won't get drunk cammed uh you won't have any issues with with stuff like that because uh the old way that i did this though in the other video um if you installed one of the folders or files out of order or you accidentally left any of those files that i told you to delete in the beginning uh, what will happen is after a couple minutes of playing the game, you'll get drunk cammed and uh, sometimes if you do it really wrong, then the game will just crash uh, upon startup and it won't work at all. So, we'll run around for a couple minutes, we'll, you know, you fucking asshole, you ran me over. Um, you know, we'll run around, I'll show you it works, uh, because after a couple minutes of play, um, back here. You know, after a couple minutes of play, you would get drunk cammed if it was going to happen. So we'll just run around for a few minutes. I'll show you that everything works. You don't get drunk cammed. You don't have to worry about any of that. So, um... Turn this to a radio station. It won't get me uh, some kind of strike. Where is that? Right there, the talk radio. Um... But yeah, um, you'll see here in a minute, we'll just ride around for a couple minutes. We're not going to do nothing fancy, but you'll see that it all works fine. Um, and that'll be literally it. So, you know, if this helped you, if you, you know, 
whatever, you know, do all the things you do for YouTubers to help them out, you know, like, subscribe, whatever. I'm not holding a gun in your head, I don't care if you do, you do, if you don't, you don't, you know, but I'd appreciate it, so I will mention that. Um, and that that's really it. You could pretty much ignore my last video. Um, if you've already watched it and you went through those steps, um, I kind of feel a little bad because I could have made this easier the last time, but... I wanted to go through and make sure that everything would work properly before I uh, basically merged all the folders uh, the way I did to make it, you know, this simple. But now this is a lot more accessible for everybody. Uh, you shouldn't have any issues, like I said, out of, the, out of the box. You could just drag and drop these files, basically. It's like eggersnyder.com, you know, one click that quick. You don't gotta worry about anything. Um, it literally just, it just works. Um, you know, so we've ran around for a good minute or so. We'll, we'll give it a couple minutes. We'll just, like I said, we'll just drive around. You'll see we won't get drunk hammed. We won't have any other issues. You shouldn't encounter any problems. If you have any crashing, that folder that we didn't copy over, I think I already mentioned that, but it has, uh... Visual C 2005 and it install those uh, Visual C uh, installations and you should fix your problem. You shouldn't have any problems then because it might be that you don't have the Visual C. Um, you might not have the version of Visual C that you need for this game installed. So that'll be your most likely problem. Um, but yeah, you could you could see we're working just fine. We ain't having any issues. Um, and you know you could have fun with the game. Now you could do a lot more like uh, enhancement mods will work with this version of the game. So uh, you can install the you know graphical enhancement mods and all that stuff, and it'll work. Um, a lot of the mods, like car mods and shit, 99% of them will work. There'll be those ones that either are just broken, you know, and don't work anyway. And maybe you might encounter one that was made um, around a newer version of the game that just don't work. But I don't think you'll encounter any of that. For the most part, any of those mods that work with the newer version should work with this too. But um, if you encounter a problem with a mod... Just done in, you know, I recommend trying to install mods like one at a time rather than in batches because then you'll know which mod caused the issue and you can just uninstall that mod. Um, you know, back up your files and all that fun shit so it's easier to fix. Um, maybe I'll do a video showing how to install, like, uh, replace cars and all that stuff. I've been planning on doing it, but I just never really decided to get on doing that. Um, I actually wanted to work on making this easier for people and more accessible for people to, to downgrade their game. So I decided today to mess around with that and make sure that everything worked just fine and make a video about that. So then it's uh, much easier for people to downgrade their game um, than the last video because there, it was a little bit of a process and I feel like the way that I did it was just kind of bad. I, I could have tested all that shit out first. I, I kind of just, you know, went with... I thought I made it as easy as possible, but then I started thinking about it later on, a couple days after I made that video. I was like, well, maybe I could do something to make this a little bit easier on people. So, I decided, well... When I get some time this weekend, I'll just go ahead and I'll try that out. And so I did, and I found out that it works just fine. Um, so that, that's pretty much that. Like I said, you know, do what you do for YouTubers you like. You know, help me out. You know, I'd greatly appreciate it. Um, I'll, like, this will be linked in the description. It'll be a 7-zip file. I'm going to zip it, and you'll be able to use it. Um, 
with your with your game and you won't have to worry about having rockstar launcher anymore there's be no more need for that for at least for this game um so that that's really it i'm not going to go on too much longer i pretty much gave you all the points of uh you know detail you needed for this um so like i said i'll host the file you can download it unzip it and just use it so you won't have to worry about um, any more Rockstar Launcher or Steam. Like I said, launching it through Steam will no longer work. And trying to launch it through Rockstar Launcher, if you have that, shouldn't work either. It, it most likely won't. Um, I could just about guarantee it won't because it's no longer linked to, to uh, Rockstar Launcher or Steam. Um, but yeah, so like I said, um, I'm going to cut the video here. I've rambled on enough. I've explained what I need to explain. Um, the files will be there. Everything you need. Um, and and that's, that's literally it. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.